good. That's just, you know, all the talk in the off season, and uh, it'll be good to finally zero in on who's going fast and uh, what teams are gelling and all that, all the stuff that uh, we care about and our fans care about. The Daytona 500 is a really important event to us. I think it's an amazing race. It's a great spectacle. I think they've done a good job of building it up to become as good as it can be. And it's got a lot of good history. You know, it really does have a lot of great history. There's a lot of great races here. A lot of great winners and champions have won this race. And I feel very fortunate and lucky to be one of them guys. And uh, I'd love to double it up, man. Add me another one to it, you know. Let's get it done. It's been a, a neat change, and, and I certainly noticed a difference from last year to this year. Um, you know, I'm very proud of what we've done as a race team and, and the things that we've accomplished. So it's nice to you know, receive some of that stuff. At the same time, it's not anything that I've ever experienced or been prepared for, so it can be uncomfortable, you know, a little from time to time. But um, I'm, I'm excited to get back in the car and, and, uh, and do what I do, be back around the race fans, uh, be back in the garage area around the competitors. You know, the banquet was great, but I saw 10 guys up there, 10 drivers, and no crew members uh, from the other teams. So the last time I've seen a lot of my friends was, was at uh, Homestead. Um, so there's nothing better than also walking through the garage area and seeing those guys uh, after a championship. I've been fortunate to experience the last few years, and I know how special the first couple of days of Daytona are. It's kind of one of them races that everybody you know wants to win so bad, and it's a, the, the biggest race of the year for us um, as a stock car racer or as a kid or uh, whatever. You dream about winning Daytona 500. So it's always, uh, for me so far, every year when you leave there, except for probably the first year, our rookie year, we, we ran pretty good. and and probably didn't you know, expect to win. But every year you don't win it, and every year that's another one in the books. It's one less chance you're going to have at it. You kind of, I always leave disappointed. So um, you know, if you're not the winner, you probably leave a little bit disappointed. I'm here to try to defend my championship, and I feel that with uh, Tony Stewart, Stewart House Racing, I'll have a great opportunity. Look forward to uh, you know, having him as a teammate and a competitor. I've always admired his driving style and his abilities. So um, you know, it's something I look forward to uh, from a personal standpoint to start uh, to start a new beginning and uh, you know try to try to achieve some things that I haven't achieved yet in my career I think you start thinking about the Daytona 500 you know the, you think about the first six or eight races of the season and then I think it kind of goes away and, and then you think about it toward the end of the season and then all winter you know it, it so there, there's a middle part of the, the season where it's so intense that you don't think about it but this is a big big race for us and and uh, for our sport and uh, you know everybody wants to win it. To get back in the, the car again and get back going you know I'm, I raced a couple weeks ago just to try to get my feet wet again and uh, you know fortunately I won in my own super late model and so I'm the only guy here one for one already so <laughs> I'm ready to get going and make it two for two you know I'm, I'm excited about it so uh, I think we'll be good our restrictor play program last year for Joe Gibbs Racing was really strong and uh, especially at Daytona. It's a race that you can have you just don't know what's going to happen until the end of the race, and there's, it's it's always up in the air. And you know, I think that uh, for those two reasons and the, the history that obviously goes along with it, it would be an amazing race to win. I think we've got a, an incredible uh, race car for for the Daytona 500 and the shootout this weekend, and a great opportunity to to you know win this race. And I just think that you know we. Uh, we really put a lot of energy into focusing on the details of what we knew to make us better for this year, better here at Daytona, better for the whole season, and I can't wait to get out there and, and get it all started. Just the history of it, you know, to me, you think about races in the past that you've watched on TV and you've always been rooting your favorite driver on, and now to be part of it, it's just uh, it's an amazing experience.